Hi, this is my aquaponics greenhouse setup, whatever. So I just wanted to show you. Here I've got my uh, many of my original plants with some new ones growing and a bell siphon. I've got over here another grow bed that's full of all of the basil. This is from one of those supermarket things where for three bucks you can buy a bunch of living herbs and it's grown to this and beyond and we've been using this constantly. And then over here I've got a bed that doesn't have much happening. It's got a banana plant off in the side. And I don't know if you can see this. There we go. I just put some um, some beet seeds directly in and they're starting to come up. Here is my solar oven. When it's not being used to cook things, it just... Um, I put it backwards and use it to hold my my lamp. And here, that isn't actually ice cream, that's uh, where I keep my fish food. Here's my kitty cover for the big tank. Let's see, I forget. I think there's 14 slats and I've just got it, uh, let me pull up on the handle. And you can see the construction. I'm just using 1x3 pine, cheap pine 1x3 here. Because I'm in a greenhouse, I don't have to worry about um, water pouring around and on top of this thing. It's just covering. Down in there, you can't see much. I've got bluegill. I've got about 50 or 60 bluegill in there. And the interesting thing about bluegill is that they have kind of like chameleon tendencies. Mm. We're starting to get the siphon going there. Anyway, so if I had light, uh, a light tank, they would be relatively light colored. See, they're getting trained. They're like, ooh, she lifted the lid. Maybe, maybe she's going to feed us. Anyway, but since I have a dark tank, they all are dark. So you might have been able to see some stuff as they wander around, but probably not. The When I initially introduced them to the tank, I had a few mortalities. Um, Partly, I think there was some ick or whatever you call that on the fish when they uh, when I got them, but uh, but uh, we're seem to be past that. I lost about five to ten percent of my new purchases, and now we're doing good. And they're like, okay, it's open. Let's have fun. Let me open this all the rest of the way. I'll get out some food and put it in because they are bluegill and even if they're full they'll eat again. They're all like, oh yeah. So, we'll put this back down now. So I get to do that a couple times a day. And then this is my last grow bed over here. And it has uh, I wanted to show you, just a second, as I go back here to find my uh, my stuff. One of the nice things about having these uh, cinder blocks is they serve as shelving for all my stuff. Anyway, so I use this crochet hook to pull the stuff out. I wanted to show this is uh, the way that I'm now doing my uh, uh, bell siphon at the bottom you need to have something so that the flow can go through and uh, so I'm able to just slice that with a miter saw and it works just fine you can see I also use the miter saw to slice into this um, media shield and it's just about to go so let's put this down see if we can see here I've got my this is what happens when the siphon starts and it's it's going now uh, the great thing I've got this is a constant height of pond system so I was able to cut these so they just 
they're just under the water so you get a little bit of initial burbling and it'll go strong and then after a while the air starts sucking in and then the siphon breaks and I found, I don't know if you can tell oh there we go that is a 45 degree angle and having the the pipe there we go stuck into the 45 is super reliable at getting these uh, siphons to, to go so it's really nice I've enjoyed that a lot I think I already okay I had this open they're like are you gonna feed us again and what I wanted to show you here this is the constant hydropon thingamajiggy again and what I've got going here let me see I can't see what I'm looking at this is just three quarter inch uh, pipe I use the electrical fittings to go through the wall because those are nice and flat when they give you plumbing fittings they don't aren't nice and flat and this uh, pipe coming up from the bottom since there's no hole except at the very bottom there um, it takes the water from the bottom of the tank in order to uh, try to empty out the tr to try to empty and because of this hole up here there's uh, ah, it's a plumbing thing just trust me this sucks the water from the bottom of the tank where all the fish waste is and brings it over to my sump and I'm really pleased with this so here is my sump tank you see I've got a similar kitty cover and this matches up real nicely with the uh, uh, I guess those are two by sixes I've got supporting my grow beds and I open that up down in here I've got my hun uh, I guess it's actually a thousand gallon per meter pump and it's just hooked up with um, white garden hose this is the kind of garden hose that you can use for drinking water I figured that if regular garden hose leaches lead into drinking water then uh, I didn't really want it leaching lead into my fish tank stuff and here this stream here is the overflow from my fish pond and it's just constantly going it doesn't have very far to go and because it's entering at an angle there it's pretty quiet I've got bubblers in here. Actually, if I turned the pump off, you wouldn't tell much of a difference. It's the bubblers that are making most of the noise. And then if I can get in here, this is the tube coming from uh, this grow bed. And it's so quiet now because I've got the outlet of the tube right at the water level. I've got these slices here in the uh, in the tube that let the air in so it doesn't matter if the water gets over top the end of the, the tube okay I'm freaking out my fishes okay as a matter of fact I've got this one over here just started and you can't probably see much of anything going on with that just trust me it's it's going it's going well and let me explain what this is here this is effectively kind of like a water cooler thing if you've seen any of my earlier videos I had these uh, I had taken some of these water coolers and cut the tops out I've got one of these down here with uh, holes drilled into it and then this is just a regular water cooler guy that I've put upside down into there and the purpose of this Hey, he's almost empty. Awesome. So I can take him out. So I'll go ahead and fill this guy up. I'll put in some uh, water conditioner, this stuff like Amquel that gets rid of chlorine and all those nasty things in tap water. Fill it up. And then I'll invert it. You can see down there the, the guy and Okay, since I've got him out, I can pull this out. It'll take a while. But you can see the holes. 
that I've got drilled in the side. I think you can see the holes. And uh, there, in the back. If you aren't careful, you can get a messy hole like the one there at the Primo. But if you go slowly, you'll get a nice, neat one inch hole. There, now we got it flooding back in. Boom. It doesn't really matter the orientation. I usually will slice up some um, quarter inch tube to uh, put around the side just as kind of a cushion. Anyway, and then I can invert this guy into there and uh, and then I'll have whenever my water level drops low this will burble into it the way normal water cooler stuff does and uh, we're good so I don't have to worry about since I have some fish in here they're only goldfish right now but this would be a place where I might uh, keep uh, smaller fish the bluegill in particular, they like to eat fish and they've been known to snap up even their smaller brethren of the same species. So if I had a bunch of big bluegill in my fish tank, I could have big bluegill in this fish tank and smaller bluegill over here and then as these guys got big I could move them over. So just to say that I wouldn't want this sump going dry. And so my little system here, with some care, means that I can tell when I, I can just fill this up and then maybe on a once a week basis add another five gallons to the system and stay topped up. I'm sure that'll change as I get into summer and, and things are warmer in here. So it might be more often than once a, once a day, or I mean once a week. but. Um, so that's my idea for how to keep the water level from getting really low. And that's about all I have to talk about just right now. Talk to you later.